so today I just want to do a quick uh, overview of the new sim symbol builder that is part of the ArcGIS API for JavaScript SDK. So this is pretty similar to the symbol playground that you get so you can kind of play around with um, how you want your symbols to look, whether they're points or polygons or even lines, right? Sim symbols aren't as easy. They're, uh, they can get pretty complicated, right? You're pretty much um, defining how you want to draw a symbol in um, like symbol space, right? Starting at, I can't remember if it's the top uh, left or bottom uh, left-hand corner of the, the screen. They basically have to find out like a like turtle. They ever played, they ever played a, the old game? You go uh, up a uh, number of steps and you go right number of steps. You're basically defining how you want to draw it. Almost like SVG, uh, drawing the, uh, the symbol and stuff. And there are all different parts of it you can do and different things you can do. It can get pretty complicated pretty quick. It's not exactly easy to do. I've done some by hand custom sim symbols before. And it's just, it was tough, man. It was, it was tough, I gotta admit. The, there is a uh, simple dictionary that you can use that are part of uh, the ArcGIS uh, hosted uh, platform. You can go on there and there's, there's there are already sim symbols defined for you that you can use. And you have access to them in Pro, so if you use Pro to publish stuff. So this uh, little utility here is going to make it much easier for you to be able to add uh, kind of some more interesting sim symbols to your applications, right? So first off, let me make an app here real quick that just is going to add points as I click on the map. And let me make this a uh, light theme so my uh, points will stick out some more. Oh, not that one. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Let's do that. Let's just make this regular gray vector base map. Uh, okay, okay. So now what I want to do is I'm going to say view on click. What I'm going to do is going to grab the map point and just do something like view dot graphics dot add. This is going to be a, a new graphic. I'll just pass in uh, JSON here. I'll let the auto casting take care of it. Uh, I'm going to give it an empty attributes object because it's just, just for display purposes. And geometry is going to be the point. So let me see if I did this right. Cross my fingers. Yeah. So by default, it's just uh, the default symbol color is just a black dot, right? So maybe I want to uh, change that up. So let's use the sim symbol builder to help me do this. So first thing you want to do is you want to add a symbol there. So you've got uh, icons, right? That I can use uh, just shapes. So if you want to do highway shields, right? I know if you've ever done any sort of uh, map making in your life, I am sure you've done highway shields and there are a number of of different types of shields you can use depending on the type of highways. If you've ever downloaded Tiger data or ever had to work with Thomas Brothers data, uh, it's just nuts, so man. Uh, there's no custom. Ooh, hey, look at this guy. Oh, yeah, I'm happy with that guy. Okay, pick that guy. Um, and let's go ahead and apply it to the layer so I can see what I'm getting. <laughs> I want to know who put this in the SDK. I need to go check and find out who did this. Um, so, okay, so it's, it's made up of two parts, we can see here. It's made up of a sim vector marker, which I'm going to guess is this little shadow right here, and a sim picture marker. So the vector marker it has a sim uh, solid fill, so it looks like I can use this to come in here and change that. Let's make this like a, a bright red, All right? Um, I can change the opacity. If I apply that to layer, does it do anything? Oh, I guess not. Okay. Maybe it's part of this. I'm not sure what that is for. So that just turns it off. Enable. Move the anchor around. Move the offset. So there's the, uh, there's the base 64 string for this. This is going to be large. But okay. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, now you can go ahead. Uh, uh, yeah. This, is, this was a bad idea. Picking this one. I already know it. Um, I go and click on get symbol JSON. 
<clears throat> so now here is the JSON I can use and just copy paste this right into my application, right? That's so big. Oh my gosh. You know, darn that. It's, it's, okay, let's do this. So now I'm going to go apply that symbol to the graphic I'm adding to my map. And... Oh, do I need to just... I just need to do new... Okay, okay. Here's what I got to do. Sim point symbol. So I have to actually import the sim symbol. So it's under Ezra symbol, sim symbol. All right, so let's do this. It's uh, And then what I'll do, uh, let's come down here. So I should probably read the instructions before I do this kind of stuff, right? Uh, so I need to create a new sim symbol with the data here. So let's do this. I'm just going to copy this because I'm pure laziness on my part, right? So when I add it over here, let's do a symbol like this. We'll say new sim symbol and enter symbol JSON here. All right, so I've got that up top. So, okay, let's, uh, let's see what happens now. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. I got to tell you, that is silly. Okay, okay, that 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 was fun. But uh, let's, um, oh, let's try to do something a bit more practical. How do I uh, change it? Refresh the page? Maybe if I refresh my page. I didn't see a way to refresh it. So, okay, add symbol there. Okay, so let's do this. Let's try. Let's go for shape. Okay. Let's do this one first. And let's go for an icon. And let's add this martini glass. Oh, wait, I can't add them both. Okay, I guess I just have to pick one. You probably could add more than one, though, if you want to edit the JSON and put them on top of each other. But let's go with this. Okay, so let's do that. Oh, I get it, I get it. Okay, okay, okay. So let's do this. Let's add the martini glass. There we go. Let's add another one. Let's add the uh, shape here. This one, like so. I don't know why that's showing up like that. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, how do I do the... Come over here. So marker graphic. Solid fill. Let's make this... You know, I'm, I'm not familiar enough with it to know what I'm supposed to do. But this is not a circle. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. Do this, come over to shapes. Add that. There we go. Can I move this? Yeah, oh look at that. Yeah, I moved it. Alright, alright. Okay, 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 okay. So let's come over here. Uh let's pick out the color I want. So I want this to be uh let's go with the kind of a darker green, like so. Nice, nice. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. And we'll make this color over here the fill color. Let's just go ahead and make that straight up white over here. Um, stroke. I don't know what this is going to do. Um, it's, yeah, it's just going to change that. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down there, buddy. Okay, okay. There we go. There we go. So, okay, so now I can get this simple JSON. I can apply some opacity to it, but I'll just leave it as is. Uh, I can mess with the size. I think if I come over here, is it this one? Uh, yeah, size here. So we'll leave a default size and uh, apply it to the layer, and there we go. So now I get this simple JSON. And let me go ahead and copy this. That's definitely not as uh, much JSON as the vector picture marker sim vector picture marker json Did i say that right try saying that fast 10 times right okay so let's change it up here add that now and let this reload oh yeah look at that let's have a nice drink people boom and you can apply this to your feature layer for the renderer and stuff and add your sim symbols. You could do some um, visual variables in here and have some 
uh, you know, uh, size scaling and all this really cool stuff you can do. Uh, that's neat. That is really cool. So I, first, I, I, I just found this tool uh, fairly recently. I didn't realize it was actually there until I paid attention to uh, some other documentation. I really should read some of our own doc much more thoroughly than I typically do. Usually I do it when I, I find stuff when I need it. Not necessarily just by looking. Uh, it's not so I really need it. I go, oh, look at this is like super cool, super useful, right? I just happened to be working on something I wanted to use Sim Simple for. And I was like, man, I really don't want to do this by hand. I wish we had a tool. Bam, there it is, right? So go ahead and read the instructions. Uh, there's a whole spec for Sim Symbol. There is a Sim Symbol Builder blog post. Oh, for crying out loud. I even missed a blog post on this. Can you believe that? That is horrible. I feel just like a total jerk for missing this uh, uh, blog post. No, I did see this blog post. I think I thought this was part of the Matt Viewer beta. I think is what I, in my head, was thinking. I did not realize it was going to be uh, part of the documentation. Again, I when you look at this stuff, I go, oh, pretty picture. And I start reading this stuff. And I think it's probably mentioned, there's like a, a link here to the actual builder that I didn't pay attention to. I think I just thought this was automatically part of the new map viewer beta. My bad. I'm a moron. I'm an idiot. I am sorry. <laughs> but it looks like uh, Fong and Andrew wrote this. So they did a really good job here. Because uh, I did like the blog post. And it did show quite a bit of stuff you can do here. Uh, so that's nice. So check that out. Check out the tool. Like I said, combine this. Uh, you have this. You have the simple playground that you can use to do regular symbols and stuff. I mean, you can do some pretty awesome things uh, for your symbols in your applications. I mean, I you know I've got a martini class going here, and I can customize it. I could add more layers if I wanted to. So, um, darn it, how do I get back? I don't. I don't know how to get back. I don't. Is there a way to get back? I don't think so. I think I have to refresh the page. That's unfortunate. That's okay. That's okay. But now it would be pretty simple for me to add another layer and another layer and then offset the symbols and maybe I can get a little olive in there, like another green little uh, circle in there. Ooh, that'd be nice. So, okay, yeah, uh, have some fun, knock yourselves out, make some cool looking apps. Thanks.